Well, hey, crafty friends. Welcome to today's episode of our devotional of Go For It. My name is Heidi Scott. This is DIY Dreaming. And on today's devotional, we will be working on number 33, which is titled Scripture and Peace. And this is so good. Peace is something I've thought a lot about, honestly. And maybe you have too. And I was just talking to somebody about this recently because peace, for me, is the number one thing that I need in my life. And I bet you probably do too. So it should be really good. We're working on this devotional, Go For It, which is about boldly living the life that God has designed for each one of us. And the author is Melissa Horvath. And it should be really good. We're gonna be looking at um, the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27. Okay, so let me just pray and we'll hop right in. In the meantime, um, feel free to sprinkle, feel free to ask questions. I'll let you know at the end how you can get a copy of this devotional, all that good stuff. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for the peace that only you can bring us. Peace that is not of this world, peace that is of you, which is the peace that we are all desiring, desperately needing craving and not knowing how to obtain. So I just pray, Lord, that today as we look at this, this day of this devotional and your holy word, that you will show us what you would have us to see so that we can live this out in our lives and have the true peace that only you can bring. And so just be with us, Lord, guide my words, help them to be an encouragement to the people out there watching both now live and in the future. And I pray all of this in the precious set name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okie dokie. Well, hey everyone. Okay, so I'm going to just start uh, reading. Again, we're on number 33, which is called Scripture and Peace. And it's it's really good, just like I say every single day. This has been such a good devotional. Okay, I'm uh, reading from the book of John, uh, chapter 14, verse 27. And this is Jesus in my actual Bible. I'll show you in just a minute. It's in red, and that means it's Jesus talking. And Jesus says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Okay, I'm not sure what translation that was in, but let me read it to you from my Bible. Okay, here we go. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. I guess this was the same translation as what I have in my Life Application Study Bible, which is the New International Version. And let me read to you the note um, that I think was most helpful to me. The end result of the Holy Spirit's work in our lives is deep and lasting peace. Unlike worldly peace, which is usually defined as the absence of conflict, this peace is the confidence and assurance in any circumstance with Christ's peace we need not we do not need to fear the the present or the future if your life is full of stress allow the holy spirit to fill you with Christ's peace and that's funny um because that is the first thing that popped into my mind and i wrote it here in my little devotional this is one of the reasons why i like having this book is because I like to scribble my thoughts in it. And then when I look back on it, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember exactly what I was thinking. Anyways, I wrote that peace is not the absence of conflict. Peace is the presence of the Holy Spirit. And it's the confident assurance that we can have knowing that we're not in control, that God is. That he has a good plan for us. Um, it's just, it's just a whole different level of living. So let me read what the author of this devotional has to say. She says, all of us have days when nothing seems to go right. Wouldn't it be nice to just jet off to a beach during these times? Yes, it absolutely would. <laughs> 
Um, sadly for most of us, this isn't a reality, but we can develop our own coping mechanisms to find rest, solace, and peace. In today's scripture reading, Jesus tells his disciples that true peace comes from him. This is such a good reminder. We can find temporary, and that's important, I, I scribbled it, temporary peace in earthly things, situations, and places, but Jesus offers us lasting peace. It's good, it's good for us to have a plan for the next time we feel anxiety creeping in. One of the things I do, this is the author writing, one of the things I do in these moments is play Christian music on my radio or home device. Some people love new worship songs while others find peace in hymns. Singing these words can remind us that God is here, he is for us, and that we can release our problems to him. Another way to bring calm to your day is to repeat and memorize a passage of scripture. One of my favorite verses, and this is one of my favorite too, to call upon when I'm having a rough day is Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare, welfare and not for evil, plans to give you a hope and a future. Scripture can remind us that God has a plan for us and that we can trust him to love and care for us. Um, so I think that this is all so good. And just to remember that the peace that we can find in going to the beach or different coping things that we, that we have that are earthly is not lasting. Peace in a relationship with Jesus Christ is lasting. Peace in having the Holy Spirit come and reside in us is lasting. Peace in God's word is lasting. And that is the kind of peace that we want. And as we're going through these lives, um, we are gonna have conflict. Jesus said that himself. Um, he said, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome this world. So maybe if we can go into the conflict the absence of peace in our lives, if you're defining it the worldly way, which is not having problems. Um, you know, if we, can, if we can remember that what we really need is the Holy Spirit and the, to remind ourselves that God is in control, that he is good, that he has a good plan for us. And as we're going through this life that is the one that God has uniquely designed for us, which is not always exactly what we would have chosen for ourselves, um, we can have peace going through that. If we, if we trust in the Lord, as Carol says, she trusts in God to take care of her and that he knows much, bigger, much better. He um, is past, present, future. He can see how an instant can affect eternity and how it can affect everyone else. And he loves us and has a good plan for us. So anyways, I hope this was encouraging to you. Um, take a few minutes to read John uh, chapter 14, verse 27, and then to read over Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. And those, um, those two verses are super helpful. Um, Tony says that, she, Tony Lynn says she trusts him to guide him through each day. Through her, sorry. She trusts God to guide her through each day. Me too. Okay, in the go for it, it says, do you have a favorite verse of scripture that helps bring you peace? It's good to begin thinking about what calms you before the hard times come. Whether it's turning on Christian music or remembering a Bible verse, God wants to show you that he can bring a peace that lasts. So um, I hope this was good for you. Let me know in the comments if you would like info on getting this little devotional. There's 90 days. We're on number 33. It's not building one upon the other, so you can skip around. You can hop in and out whenever you want. Maybe you have some friends that are wanting to do a summer devotion. It's not too late for them to get started with this, and it's so good. The other thing is, I really think it's 
critical. Life is so hard. We need God's word <laughs> that we can uh, hold in our hands, that we can hold it in our hearts, that we can write our lives in it. And my poor Bible is absolutely falling apart, but I, this is my most cherished possession, physical possession. And um, if you don't have a Bible that's in a translation that is understandable to you, or that you can write your life in, that you can hold in your hands, um, let me know and I'll be glad to get you a link to a online store, I think it's called christianbooks.com, where you can order life application study Bibles in a variety of translations. So you can find the one that speaks to you, whether that's King James, NIV, ESV, NASB. There's a, the message, uh, the New Living Translation, there's a ton of different translations. And you can also get some that are large print and also... They have them available on a, a big range of price points. So, but I think uh, this may not be absolutely necessary, although it is good. This is absolutely necessary for this life. Um, so, let me know and I'll get you the link. I don't have, I don't make any money on these Bibles. <laughs> I just want you to have a Bible. So, Glenn is saying her favorite verse is Philippians 4, 6. Let me look that up. I'm curious. She, okay, 4, 6 is, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Thank you so much. That is such a good um, good verse, and it's one that I've obviously uh, meditated on some and scribbled some and heard a, a variety of different lectures and sermons on. And in the notes it says, God's peace is different from the world's peace. True peace is not found in positive thinking, in the absence of conflict or in good feelings. It comes from knowing that God is in control. Our, citizen in Christ, our citizenship in Christ's kingdom is sure. Our destiny is set and we can have victory over sin. Let God's peace guard your hearts against anxiety. That's so good. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. Okie dokie, let me pray and then we'll be done for today. And also let me just let you know that um, if you're watching this live, um, we will not have our devotional this Tuesday or Thursday. I'm so sorry, but I am going to be on a fun little trip to see a family member in New Orleans. So, um, but I will be back next week on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 1230. And I'll be sure to post this info so that everyone knows. But I just wanted to give you that heads up in case you were watching live. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for this devotional and this reminder, Lord, that your peace is what we really need. That your peace is not found in positive thinking, in good feelings, or even in the absence of conflict or problems. Our peace, your peace, Lord, the one that is lasting, is found in you, in knowing that you are in control. We can trust you and you have a good plan for us. And it, it's when we let you guard our hearts and our minds that we can have that true peace, Lord. So I just pray for everyone that is going through difficulties, hardships, trials, heartaches, heartbreaks. We all are in different ways at different times in our lives. Lord, I just pray that... Um, that this will be meaningful to them, that this will help them get through the things that we all have to get through and that they can call upon your name and remind themselves who you are and whose they are and that will be a help to them as they go through, all of us, as we go through what we're going through. So I just, I love you, Lord. I praise you. Thank you so much for everything that you have done for us and that you are doing now and that you will do in the future, Lord. Um, 
I just praise you and I pray all of this in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okie dokie. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Feel free to sprinkle. I'll post the info about this and my Bible. And I'll also post um, my YouTube playlist, which is this, in case you want to catch up on anything that you may have missed. I'll post that in the comments here. But don't hesitate to reach out and let me know if I can do anything for you. And I will see you guys later. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everyone.